Well, we've almost finished our Galactic Mail tutorial series. This is video number nine, and we are going to add a splash screen to our game. As you can see, we've learned virtually everything that we need to learn to move to our learning objective of understanding how to make objects travel in specific directions, wrap around a screen and interact with other objects within a multi-level game. So we haven't got much more to do. And as far as our specifications go, we've done everything except for creating a splash screen and adding some music. So in this video, we're going to add the splash screen. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to create our splash screen is to create the sprite that forms the image of the splash screen. So I'm so going to right click over here, create a new sprite, I'm going to import a sprite, and I'm going to import the one called title. Okay, so open him up. Yep, go ahead with that. Need to go in, edit the sprite, get rid of that green background. Yep, no green, that's good. Close you down. I've got to give it a name, SPR splash and that's you done right so now what I need to do is I now need to create a um, create an object called splash so let's go down here to my objects right mouse click create object and obj splash obj splash I'm going to add the splash sprite. That's still called sprite 6, that's rather annoying. So I'm going to I change that, rename that, and make him SPR splash. Now here I can pretend that I did that with the pure purpose of showing you how it can change the value. But it didn't, so I'm just going to close you down and I'm going to um, open you up again and change your SPR um, splash. And I know what you're doing. Um, I'll just call it SPR title. I think there's a naming problem with you. Yes, okay, you're happy with the SPR title. Right here, and you'll notice if I've changed that, if I come back to my splash screen, it's actually changed the name in here as well too. Now in the event, this is gonna, the screen's gonna pop up at the beginning of the game. So we need to have a create event there. Create event, um, and I want to have, I'm gonna name this event. On the create event, we need to, we need to have it. So I should need the create event. I'm going to get rid of that. What we need to have is we need to have a press any key. Press key, any key situation, press key, any key. And what we're going to have it do, press key, any keys, we're going to make it go to the next room. So scroll down to find our rooms. Where is our rooms? Uh, here it is go to next room. So this is going to exist. We press any key, it goes to the next room. So now we're going to put it into a room. So close you down, go open our rooms up, and I'm going to create a new room. Actually, I'm just going to duplicate one of these. I'll duplicate room one. And just go duplicate. And I'm going to call this not room 11. I'm going to rename it um, room Splash. Right, now I'm just going to change the order of the room here. So we're going to make Splash at the top up here. It's because it actually runs in order. It will always launch in the very first, um, in the very first um, room that it appears in this list. Next room will take you down, previous room will take you up. I'm going to, in here, I'm going to go to the ship level. I'm going to get rid of the ship. So I don't want him there. Special move to stay and can float around, etc. And in the explosion layer, on the explosion level or layer up here, I'm going to add my um, object splash and have it existing in the middle of the screen there. All right. So let's press play. See what happens. And there it is. And you get all the stuff moving around in the background, or press play, press space, or any other key, 
and it starts playing. Spot on. Beautiful. So that's that one. Done. Well, there we go. Almost done. The splash screens are on and most of the other game is functioning. Just some final little touches in the next video. And in this video, you learnt about the concept of title screens or splash screens.